hi guys so in this tutorial i'll be writing a program of a spiral matrix so let's discuss the spiral form of a matrix first then i'll explain the program so here we have a matrix of integer elements uh, that we have two uh, drivers in the spiral form so as per the spiral property the element which uh, which is traverse once will not be traverse it again so we'll start traversing from index 0 of matrix so uh, it will traverse a row first sorry then it will traverse column again it will traverse a row column and again row so at this point you can see there is no any element which is not traverse and also there is no any element which is uh, traverse twice so each of element in this matrix are traverse only once so this is the spiral uh, form of matrix so let's write a program now so we'll be using here uh, a list of integer as return type so that we will be able to uh, return the uh, spiral form of uh, matrix so here our method name will be spiral uh, matrix so element we are passing, passing as matrix so our first condition is if objects is null and uh, not matrix if this matrix is not containing a, any element though then also will return null this is our first condition and we'll be using here uh, different uh, variables so you can see we, we are traversing from uh, left to right left to right and right to sorry top to bottom and right to left and bottom to top so we'll use here four variables which point to left another one point to right another point is bottom and one is uh, bottom to top so let's write those variable as well one is top which start from zero another one is uh, bottom start from total length of matrix another one is left we start from traversing from here zeroth index so it list our uh, drivers up to right means uh, right so this left will traverse up to the last index of row of matrix matrix of zero dot sorry it's wrong here oh I have written here wrong uh, spelling so 
will use here exit condition uh, top should less than uh, bottom and left always should less than right so these are an uh, exit condition now we'll uh, traverse from left to right from left to right so let me give a comment here traverse from top left to top right so we'll traverse will use loop here and loop will start from the left left is 0 means i start from 0 index and so we are starting from here so it will go to from left to it will go to right this so and after this will be so while traversing we will be uh, collecting these elements as well so i forgot to collect this but we have to collect these as well so to collect this i'll be using here one uh, integer list of nums and so this early side side will uh, size will be total uh, length of matrix so it will be good convention if you initialize your list as per your requirement so we have the requirement of max size of uh, uh, our matrix length so that's why we are initializing our uh, list as the equal size of the matrix so inside this we will be uh, collecting the elements I will re remain same and I will keep changing so this top left to top right this one is done now we will do for uh, top to bottom to start from uh, index uh, top and it will keep checking whether it reach to bottom or not here bottom and will increase i every time but you can see we uh, we have collected this for for uh, while traversing from left to right now from top to bottom we will not uh, collect this 4 again so our uh, this top is here 0 so while traversing from top to bottom it will start from 0 and keep incrementing by 1 in each step so in this case we have to uh, increase our top here now top will become one so it will not start from collecting elements from here it will uh, start collecting from this index so it will be uh, nums dot add matrix and this time it will correct from right side so this is also done now we will be doing here for uh, from right side to left side so in this case uh, we are, our pointer is here so our right side is 
greater than the left side so we will decrease our right on each step by one so it's uh, right bottom to left bottom so in this case we have to decrease our right by one so it uh, so it so it should not uh, pick this 16 it should start from 15 I start from right I should always uh, greater and equal to left I minus decrement from here to left here <coughs> and we will be keep collecting these uh, elements as well so we are collecting bottom element along with i so it's done here now we will be collecting we will be doing from uh, left bottom to left top So now in this case we are at this our pointer is at this kind uh, index so we will not collect this one because this this one is already collected so we should start collecting from here so in, now uh, we have to decrease bottom by one now it start from it start collecting from here will use for so it will go to top and we'll say i decrement by one now we have to uh, collect all the elements which is in between of left bottom to uh, left top matrix of i and elements from left side so we have done now but we we should not collect this one because one is already collected so we need to ignore and collect these rows so for this we have to increase uh, left by one so at last we have to return uh, nums so we have done with the logic now let's write main method we'll use same elements which we had used in this, this example so for Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We have done mistake somewhere. Oh equal should not be here now let's call a uh, spiral method matrix and let's print this here only let's test whether this program is working fine or not Oh, we 
forgot to put semicolon so this is our output let's compare here so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 now 8 12 16 8 12 16 15 14 13 15 14 13 9 5 9 5 6 7 6 7 11 10 11 10 yeah so our program is working fine it's and the logic is also working so that's it from this video guys we will meet in next video with, with another interesting problem thank you so much